Hmm. Hello, my lovely people, and welcome to Owen's Mind, a lighthearted trip through the contents of my head and the world in general. So, as you saw from the title, this is about how to fix the general election. Now, it's not just the general election, it's politics in general, because it does need fixing. So, the reason I'm doing this video is we've got a general election coming up in the UK, December the 12th, and all the parties are out there trying to win your vote. Now, there's a general consensus, like there is every general election, that ah, there's voter apathy and people aren't interested. So, how do we engage people? I don't think there is voter apathy. I think the problem is people have been lied to so many times by the political parties that they've just lost interest. The Brexit debate is all, you know, it's, it's getting tiresome now. It's very important, but we just, it's been going on for so long. I think people are starting to lose interest and people are tired of broken promises. So this is what I would do. These are my thoughts about how to fix this. So to get around the dishonesty thing um, and how to move forward and get people interested and make governments and um, politicians accountable. Because at the minute, they can make any claim they want. So they let the manifesto. Manifesto, for those of you who don't know, is basically a, um, a list of policies and aims that a government or a potential government, a political party, wants to, will put into place. If we be, come to power, this is what we're going to do. The problem is, they often don't. A good example of this was in 2010. The Lib Dems for years have been campaigning, you know what, we're going to scrap tuition fees. They formed a coalition government with the, the Tories in 2010. Within six months, they voted to approve a um, up to a tripling of tuition fees. They broke their promise, and it's done great damage to them. And again, voters were just like, why bother? Because you set out a wonderful manifesto, and we will bring you into power based on that, on the promises you've made, and then you break them. Here's the thing. What politicians need to understand is they do not rule us. We elect them on our behalf to serve us. This is how it works. This is how democracy works. We bring them in to work for us. We are essentially, we are the, the British people are the politicians' bosses. And what should be the case, as it is with most boss-employee relationships, if the employee is not meeting the requirements of the job, they are disciplined or they are sacked. And that should be the case. And they say, well, that is the case. Every four years, you can vote somebody else. No, 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 not this four years business, because then you've got four years to, you know, feather your nests and basically rule how you see fit when you're not abiding by the terms that we set out for you in your manifesto. So here's what I would do. Make the manifesto a contract, a simple contract. So in your manifesto as a political party, here's what you put out. This is what we're going to aim to accomplish within the first six months, the first year, the first two years, first three years, four years. This is our, these are our plans, short term, mid term and long term. That is a binding contract. And if you break it, if you don't meet those dates without a very good reason, you're sacked. You are removed. OK, so here's a couple of things I think it would fix. Number one, at the minute, because everyone's after your vote, they are making lots of claims. So the Tories are saying that the NHS is not for sale, even though they have taken meetings with American pharmaceutical companies. Um, there was a TV debate just last night and Boris said, no, nope, it's definitely not for sale. I don't believe him. Then why meet with these American pharmaceutical companies and things like that? Um, on the other hand, Labour have said, you know what, we're going to have um, free broadband for everybody by 2020. It's going to cost 20 billion. And the Tories have come back and said, no, we've priced it. It's going to cost 80 billion. So again, there's all this misinformation. So the idea is you put it in your manifesto and we can remove you on the basis of it. Therefore, what you're going to put in that manifesto, you're going to be pretty sure you need to achieve it. It's got to be realistic. So you're going to do your research and you're going to say, look, realistically, this is what we can deliver in our first six months. This is what we can realistically deliver in our first year, first two years, etc. And then other parties can come at you and you say, look, it's in there. If we don't do it, then fine. The public can get rid of us. So it makes them accountable, so they're less likely to make wild claims. However, there needs to be caveats, obviously, because one would be, you know what, we put this in place, we say within the first year we're going to bring this into law. If they attempt to do that, they bring it before the House and a rival party just basically votes them down, then that cannot be a removable offence, because they have attempted to do what they've said they were going to do in their manifesto. It also stops other parties literally just voting down anything in order to get the public to kick them out and trigger another election. Um, 
there needs to be something based on information at the time. So if a government comes in and says within the first year we're going to do this, we're going to bring this into law because we think it's going to benefit everybody and we vote them in on that. But then there's a political shift in another country. There is something that happens which then means that that law they're going to bring in is no longer viable. If the information was not available at the time they made the promise, again, fair enough, we have to give them a pass on that because there is there needs to be room within this kind of thing. But generally, if you put it in your manifesto and say, we are going to achieve this, we are going to be accountable to you, the public, who voted us in. You voted us in on the promises we made in this manifesto, which is now a contract. If we break the contract and we cannot give you a damn good reason why, either another party is trying to block us or new information has become available and you know it, it seems that this new law or this new regulation we we're going to bring in is no longer viable and here is why, then that's it, you're out. You have to stand by the promises you make. Also, it's just, there needs to be this accountability. There needs to be trust. That's the big issue here. There is no trust in politicians. So there's, yes, there is a level of voter apathy, but it's more just because we don't believe you anymore. Are people not turning out to vote? Because we don't believe you. If I knew that what you said in that manifesto, you were absolutely going to stick to, apart from some, you know, some serious mitigating circumstances, then yes, I would go out and vote. But at the minute, it's like, well, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And the public are just like, you've said that before. You said that last time and the time before. And I have been through a lot of general elections now and have seen all these broken promises. You know, again, employee relationship, employee, boss, British public, boss. Politicians are employees. And like any employee, you need to be accountable. This is your contract. This is what you have to work within. And if you don't, then you're fired, just like anybody else in this country. That, if anything, this is the job that most requires a contract. This is probably one of the most important jobs in the country because it determines how the country is run and how it is governed. And at the minute, there's just no accountability. It's just like, no, we can say this. We can say whatever we want to get elected. And at that point, we'll come back to you and say, well, now that we've looked into it further, um, no, it's just not going to be viable. So we're not going to bring that before the house. And you're like, you've looked into it further. So you basically made the promise without knowing all the facts. So you're either deceitful or you're incompetent. Whereas if it was a contract, it's like, right, so you either lied to us or you didn't do your research. Either way, you're a bad politician. We don't want you representing us as a country. You're done. Let's get somebody else in who can do it. I just think that would be a fix. And of course, that's not going to fix all politics. And there is so many different things, about, you know, and backroom deals and, and certain political affiliations with, with the media. And, all. you know, it's not going to fix everything. But I just think it would address some of it. It would get people interested in politics again because it's like, right, this list of things that you can now read, nice and simply put, this is our manifesto. This is what we're going to do if you elect us to power. And if we don't do that, you can get rid of us. I think you're going to get people going out and actually going, yeah, fair enough. Because now it's great. We've got all the parties. We've got everything they're going to do. This is what they're going to do. This is what they're going to do. And this is what they're going to do. That appeals to me. Let's vote for them. Because if they don't do it, they're gone. So it's in their interest to do it. It's also in their interest not to make unrealistic claims. So that's just my little thought, guys. Um, in regards to this time, I am going to vote because I think if you don't vote, then you've got no right to moan about it. I don't know who I'm going to vote for yet. I am sort of keeping up. The manifesto is not all out yet. I think the Greens is out. Lib Dems comes out tonight. Wait for Labour and the Tories to put theirs out. And I will read them for, you know, even though most of them are not worth the paper they're written on, I will see, get the general feeling of it. And I will cast my vote. And I encourage you to do the same. But going forward, I think this is never, the system is never going to change unless we force or encourage change upon them. So that's just my thoughts on this, guys. Let me know what you think below. Is there, is there flaws in my plan? I'm sure there is. You know, point them out to me. You know, I don't claim to know everything. This is not me preaching. It's like, this is what should happen. I have spoken. No, I don't know at all. This is just what I'm thinking about. So give me your thoughts. What do you think? What do you think... You know, what simple change do you think would make our political system far more effective? Let me know in the comments and always thanks for your time. I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye for now.